let's see some synthetic testing uh, with a recording so how to do a browser navigation and record it here so just go to ux monitor synthetic test so it will come to the existing synthetic test page then create new test there are api test multi-step api test and browser test so apis are just one shot uh, open a url and making some rest call uh, or some api call then finish it off browser test we have to do kind of a selenium kind of navigation and we can do a recording there should be a browser plugin which i already installed so most probably it won't ask but anyhow we'll see what happening so let's go browser test then you have to provide a url so i gave this url so first level they will ping the url Uh, we can set any themes and all not a problem additional tags can be set then we need to tell what kind of browser it should test uh, our one is a trial version so they only allow one or two browsers so let it be then uh, what are the region we have to load from so of course we can see latency or any countries blocking our website those kind of thing we can get alert when this kind of test goes so country region then retry condition retry test uh, uh, this amount of time um, so if page didn't load and if i want to say like okay try three times four times we can mention it alert condition comes um, an alert triggered if your test fails for a certain amount of time those kind of settings monitor for this test so we can set the monitor straight away and then it will alert us so priority can be set that's why we set it then save and edit so we have to save and edit for this one okay fortunately i didn't add the extension so you have to add the browser extension uh, every browser have that major browsers so just click add extension so they will install kind of player here then they will load the website make sure the website publicly accessible most of the company scenario that will be under vpn um, so that won't work so public website only you can test it because datadog is an external server or you should set up a way like uh, datadog also include it into that vpn so first add the extension so google chrome extension will be added So we have to install this. okay they done it so i'm keeping it later i want to remove this because we don't know what will happen there then possibly we have to refresh we'll see because extension installed So network loading delay is there okay so they will suggest too many things just uh, skip and go 
now they are trying to load the website so simply this is my website they will load this website here they loaded now click the recording and try to do the navigation so i'm just waiting for it to load the menu yeah menu came so just we can click the record recording started go for navigation whatever you want so go to the menu so they are just recording my navigations yes it's loading so of course network delay another problem so you can do some kind of workflow so uh, any journey uh, we can have a fixed journey uh, which is not uh, dynamically changing so fixed journeys we can do navigate and see then uh, keep the recording so it will do the same kind of workflow uh, the journey and see whether any difference or abnormality is happening then based on that they will alert so, so we navigated view so they were just showing what other thing i clicked what are the navigation i done then Right, so some uh, navigation I done and stop the recording. So recording is saved. Now save and launch. That's all we set and they will go periodically and uh, test it. Uh, test the journey then if any anomalies are there they will give us uh, a kind of alert so that's how we do synthetic monitoring for uh, uh, a browser journey